are Tyrians. We are many races, several professions. We practice the arts of combat as well as healing. We have foes, and we fight them without mercy. And it's time for us to claim back what is ours. It's time for us to claim back Tyria from the terror of the Elder Dragons. We can't go on living our lives in fear. We have to fight. We have to make a stand. This is our story. In Guild Wars 1, you can't see what the tag stands for. Oh, like you're right. Tag. I was like, Jaguar Panthera Cat. What's SR mean? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the still yet to be named as of the time of this recording. <laughs> Let's play Lori Whateverness, this show that we've got going on in Guild Wars 1. Uh, I'm here with Naveen, or Brawny McBrawn, as you may know her best. Hi! <laughs> I was gonna think of something clever, but my brain isn't functioning quick enough this evening, so... Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we, um... Things are actually... We just announced this whole new plan, and the way we were gonna do things was gonna be recording every other Monday for a release on... You know, at basically every Friday, Naveen and... Like, this week there would be none. Naveen and I would release next Friday, and then the one that was recorded next Monday by Al Cardellina and Brahms would come out the following week. But, you know, you can forget all that, because Brahms' internet is down, so he is out of the internet. Eh, but only for this week, though. So he says. But yeah, so hopefully, says. hopefully only for this week. Yeah. So, there will be no COT verses coming out this week. But instead, you're going to get me and Naveen running around in Guild Wars 1. <gasps> the COT podcast! I didn't even think about it. We might be uh, just the two of us. Mm, you yeah. and I again. We'll have to figure something out. Eh, we're cool. Yeah, so basically what we're going to do, um, this is going to be, I guess, the first real, I guess you could call it, uh, part like the actual start of the let's play so we'll, we decided kind of we're gonna wing it basically but so you're not watching us do the same thing and then alicardalina and Brahms do the same thing mm -hmm. um we're just kind of gonna do our own thing and obviously our profession-based quests are gonna take us in different directions anyway so um we're just gonna kind of do whatever and if they end up crossing paths and doing the same thing as us that's great um and we'll just kind of go with it. We're going to play for, it is now, the time doesn't matter to you, but uh, we're going to play for probably around an hour-ish. Yep. See how, where it gets us. If we get to a good stopping point beforehand, we'll call it a day. And and that's it. So sit back and enjoy the ride as we pick up where we left off with the quest Unsettling Rumors, where we are going to uh, be map traveling first instance where we'll actually be using map travel <gasps> back to Ascalon City quickly as per whoever gave us this quest's uh, request. Who oh, whatever that did that? Was over there. Mirak the Scribe. Oh yeah. Over there. So we're going to hit M and open up our map. And if we click over Ascalon City, we might as well do this too. Ashford Abbey's where we're at. Uh, situated just outside of the catacombs. That's Ascalon Catacombs, for those of you who know it from Guild Wars 2. Um, Ashford Abbey is a resting place for many of Ascalon's most distinguished deceased citizens. On nice days, you will find the heads of many noble houses coming to this spot, paying their respects to their ancestors. It's also uncommon, or it's also not uncommon to find a priest or priestess of Duena here kneeling in supplication before the statue of their goddess. And we will be map traveling to Ascalon City. The largest city in the kingdom, Ascalon City is known for its beautiful architecture, numerous libraries, and bountiful shops. Because it is where many noble families make their homes, it tends to receive the largest number of visitors and has become the cultural center of Ascalon. That's crazy. You know what? I've been playing that game for so many years and I've never bothered with reading those. Reading the text. Yeah. Um, and as you can see, Guild Wars 1, because I'm the party leader, 
it pops up this travel thing. So if Naveen didn't want to travel with me, she could cancel out. But if she if she doesn't, then I'll move the whole party along. Yay! Beat me up, Scotty. So here we are, back in Ascalon City. And we are supposed to go talk to, we can check on our little mini-map where our little arrow is. Go over there and talk to, I believe, War Master oh. Titus again? Oh, I'm in Sambal- uh, Oh, no, you're right. Armin Saberlin. Armin Saberlin, oh yeah. We got that little message for him in our inventory, so... Gotta drop that off. I'll keep clicking F. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, <laughs> so, a message from Mirak, is it? Let me see that. That is grave news indeed. I hope he's mistaken about this. Dwayne to protect us if his information is accurate. If such a thing is even possible, then King Adelburn has ordered his offensive against the Char not a moment too soon. We must not lose this fight, I tell you. We must not lose this fight. One day, it'll be mine. Oh, yes. One day, it'll be mine. If you can quote that movie, I give you 50 silvers and get lords too. All right. Because I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I read his first dialogue. If we had accepted, did you click out of it yet? Uh, no. Yes. Second dialogue I accept box? Oh, no, no, no. I got it. I got it. All right. You can read that one because I just read the last one. All right. So, Armin says, Sir Titus wants you to take on a second profession before you face the job, right? I think he is right to say so. A second profession gives you the access to all of the skills and most of the attributes of that profession. This is a big decision not to be taken lightly. You might wish to see trainers for several professions and learn a little something about them before settling on one. Not just any trainer can teach you a second profession, but I can direct you if need be. And then you're like, I'd like a second profession. And then he gives you the list. So, any thoughts about what you're going to go with for your secondary profession? Warrior. What? Wait. Uh... <laughs> you can't be a warrior warrior. That doesn't I know. work that way. <laughs> I have no idea. Actually, I didn't think about it. Maybe I'll be a whammo. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty standard. Now, just for you guys, uh, we'll jump ahead a little mechanics-wise. When we hit max level, which is level 20, I think that's when we can start switching professions. Or is it actually, there's a point where we can end up switching our secondary professions. I'll say mm -hmm. that much. But for right now, we're going to be locked into this decision for a very long time. Now, we don't have to make the decision here. Um, we can choose and he'll tell us where to go. And then we can eventually uh, decide once we actually test out the missions there. Mm -hmm. So um, we can try out different ones if we wanted. What you do when you try to get to level 20 as a give in, in pre-searing Ascalon is you accept all of the quests and you turn them all in except for the final one that lets you choose a profession so you get more experience. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't know what I'm going to pick. Part of me wants to pick Monk for extra healing, but... Uh, I don't know. I, kinda want, I don't know why I'm feeling Ranger. I don't know. Kind of You're weird. feeling ranger? <laughs> yeah. Huh. Um, I don't know, but I am going to take on Monk for sure. And when I click on this, Armin tells me, Brother Menlo is in Ashford Abbey. To reach Ashford Abbey, follow the road southwest from Ascalon City. Ah, Brother Menlo. I was waiting for it, and I totally Gah. clicked out of mine, so I didn't get to read mine. But that's okay. That's cool. You can still click it. Yeah, so I think I can actually pull it back up, yeah. Master Ranger Nente is near the edge of the woods in Regent Valley. To reach Regent Valley, follow the road southwest from Ascalon City, but turn south across the bridge. Keep an eye for the signs that say Regent Valley, and you should be fine. I also believe Master Ranger Nente is the one that you fight in Ascalon Catacombs in the story yep. mode. Yeah, it is. I was just thinking about that. Let's, uh, let's actually head up here, and we'll go visit when well, we're talking about Ascalon catacombs when we go visit uh, good old King Adelburn well here's Lieutenant Langmar right here and she will become much more important later on when she moves up to Captain Langmar 
She says, I'm Langmar of the Asculon Vanguard. After you have some more experience under your belt, I may have uh, some tasks for you. And I believe that she uh, was put here in pre-searing. She's the one that gives you the level 10 plus quests that allow you to uh, try to level up without having to death level. Oh, really? Yeah. I've never done that. Yep, they added level 10 plus uh, quests. We got anybody interesting over here? Here's this guy. You guys looked at him last time, right? The historian, the guy from the Hall of Monuments. Yeah, in, in the Yard of the North. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right, so up these steps is where Adelburn's hanging. I believe it was No, Prince it's Rurik. Prince Rurik. Oh, is it just Rurik up here? I thought Adelburn Oh, I don't know Adelburn. <laughs> okay, so Rurik is to me what Logan is to me in Guild Wars 2, so... Ah, <sighs> my prince. <laughs> okay, that sword is... is Fairly close to my hair. Careful. Yeah. Right. Uh, well met, young necromancer. It's a glorious day to be alive, is it not? I know some might think that, uh, think of these as dark times with the char threatening us from the north, but Ascalon is the greatest nation in fair Tyria. We shall never fall before the char. Never! Well, <laughs> I'd like to give you some no, no, I won't. He. <laughs> We got, we got Sin over here. She is one of the more famous henchmen. Hot tempered bimbo. Oh. I can't be bothered right now. I'll play, play, scram. Blah, 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 blah. She's like the Casimir, but no, I can't say that. Casimir isn't. Well, there's King Adelburn, but I don't think we can get up to him. He's up there. That Asclonian scribe. We can look actually. Up. Look at this battle. Look at this crazy battle. Char and uh, some Ascalon guards. Looks like we're severely outnumbered here. We got first person vote. Check it out. Mm hmm. But we're still holding our own. You do you notice something very different from Guild Wars 2. You'll see a lot of Flame Legion Char fighting amongst other Char. And no female. Yes. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Well. For more story on the char, look for our lore shows that we did a while back. <laughs> yeah, there are two episodes we did on the... There are three episodes we did on the char, actually. Yeah. There's the char episode, and then the mini episode that wasn't mini. Redux. And then uh, Brahms and I is revisiting the char lore. Yeah. Okay, so essentially, what? now we're just going to go and get our... Do secondary profession stuff is the next missions that we have. Sounds good. So, um, yeah, because the quest is a second profession. So, uh, we can do either yours or mine. Doesn't matter to me. We can begin with yours. Okay, well, we'll do mine. Well, let me see where mine will take me. It's way down in Regent Valley to the south. Where does yours take you? It's... Uh, oh, well, it's in Ashford Abbey. Uh, Hashford Abbey. I need to talk to Brother Men, though. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Wanna just map travel to Ashford Abbey? Okie dokie. Let's head over there. So we've already done the travel there, otherwise we would run it again so you guys can see. Hmm. But, uh... No need. No need. Yeah. Feel free to ignore or pay attention to the people talking in chat and ask on map chat, but... Yeah. Uh oh I see him over there. There he is, huh? Brother Menlo. <gasps> Here he is. Next to that tray! Ah, Brother Menlo! His head is so shiny. Whoops. I keep pressing F. Alright. So he says, Greetings, my child. Can I help you today? Or are you here to offer your services to those in need? Then I tell him that I'm here for a monk's mission. And he goes... One of the tasks my messengers have been given is collecting the rare elements in Ascalon for study here at the Abbey. My young friend Paulus thinks he has discovered such a treasure in one of the flooded areas of the catacombs, but he cannot reach it on his own. Paulus, you see, is a smiting monk and not very adept at healing magic. And the waters in that area of the catacombs are full of disease. I will grant you a simple healing spell 
Meet Polis inside the catacombs and he will show you where the trouble is. Return to me when Polis has successfully retrieved the artifact. So I'm like, show me the light! I'm actually yeah. going to take it too so that I can get credit for this mission along Sweet. with you. Okay. So, uh, hang on one sec. So basically, okay. it gives you two new skills. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to grab our res signets. Oh, we did. Yeah. Did that mission not come up? Uh, we never took it. Oh, that might be why. <laughs> well, uh, do you think we should go back and do that now? Yeah, let's do that. Let's okay. let's tell them about the res signet, where you absolutely have to be two people in a party to be able to get it, or else you kind of pass on and wait post searing yeah okay you see someone says gm for hire 200 gold that stands for gate monkey and a gate monkey is someone that has no purpose but to open, enter a party is it the town crier that gives it who gives you the mission no outside is it outside okay Boop. i couldn't remember yeah so sometimes you'll see someone Hanging just in here, going like, I'll party you up so you can get your res signet. So you talk to Lena, the healer over here. Ah, oh, pressed F again. And she's like, with all the dangers out in Lakeside, I can't believe the number of people who are going around by themselves. Why, I've already got my hands full resurrecting fallen soldiers without some nervous novice warrior adding to the burden. Don't people know there are plenty of... Fo Sorry, I got a cat on my back. It's hard to read. In Ascalon City, you'd be perfectly happy to join them in their adventures. I'll tell you what. If you promise to do your adventuring with an ally, I'll gladly give you a signet that can resurrect fallen party members. So our reward is 100 experience and a resurrection signet. And the click sounds like a good idea. She says, you got yourself an ally, you say? Well then, I'll give you this resurrection signet so that you can res, rise, raise, raise, rise, <laughs> resect your allies. <laughs> you might save me some work. Yeah! And now Lag and I got our beautiful resurrection signet. Yes. Now, for those of you who don't know, if we were to die out here in the zone, we would res at the nearest one of these things right here in front of me. This is a resurrection shrine. We would be resurrected at this location or the nearest one that we've interacted with so sometimes if you were in a mission and you know you made it halfway through and people were about to die someone would just bolt for the next one of these res shrines to get there so that when they die everybody resurrects at the closer shrine yep but the res signet allows one of us unfortunately uh it takes quite a bit of effort to be able to get uh, to get it back, you need to kill a boss or something like that to be able to reuse your res signet after you've used it once. Yeah, or just map into town, but then, like, if you're in the middle of something, you don't want to do well, that. We could talk to someone that's pretty prevalent later on in the game here. Sure. She said, my daddy was an adventurer like you. Then he took an arrow in the knee. No, once he let me go on an adventure, okay. She's like, I left my flute by the river, but there's lots of scary monsters there, thou. I don't know what to do. Can you maybe go and kill them and bring my flute back? And I'm like, sure, I can do that. She's like, thank you, I can't wait. I know you'll find it. Let's go find Gwen's flute, and we'll come back and talk to Haversdan over there. Uh, and then we'll head off to our missions. <laughs> and then we'll leave out, because... Time will be... Yeah, started. I know. <laughs> That's okay, though. We're doing our own thing. That was yeah, the whole yeah. point of this. Yeah. Right. Take that, River Scale! Oh! Took that again! I have healing! <gasps> yeah. There's our flute across the river there. Oh. Is there any particular reason you're not using your... My, uh, your weapons from uh, the Game of the Year edition? Oh, no, no reason. Okay, just, just curious. They don't do more attack, do they? They have the, well, one, the Rhino Hammer looks badass. Um, but it's, <laughs> uh, it's whatever the bonuses are, you'll get, like, whatever they are. Um, 
you won't get the full damage, but... Oh, I see, okay. Slash bone arrows. Yeah, and I guess... Oh, you may only use that common... Common... Oh, in a, in a town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, where'd Gwen go? Is she following us? The last flower had a bee on it! <laughs> there she is. Gwen, I'm oh. gonna kick you in the face. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ew, a big beetle! No, no, it's just lag. <laughs> Thank you for finding my flute. Oh no, it's broken. Now I'm gonna have to get a new one. Can I follow you? Yes, you may follow me, Gwen. So, I think she actually heals you if you get her the a, a not broken flute, if I remember correctly, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. Yeah, if she skips along. Let's go talk to Haversdale. La la la, la la la. Okay. What does Haverstan have to say? You go ahead and, and read that. To learn more about being a necromancer, including how to animate the dead, you should talk to Necromancer Mun in the catacombs. To reach the catacombs, follow the road. <laughs> well then! Look at that. Uh, We're yeah. going there anyway. And me, he's like, if you wish to advance your skills as a warrior, you should study under Warmaster Graston in Green Hills County. Well... Now, there's multiple reasons for us to go into the catacombs. Why don't we just, you know, just run there, take a little view All right. of the scenery, because it's just up the road. Yeah, we can do that. We can watch Wilton pace, pace in again. Oh! Uh, because oh, oh, oh. uh, he is pacing. Yeah. The, um, when we mentioned the, the slash bonus thing, this was something, just so you guys know, that was added for Game of the Year editions of the game. He would add basically a weapon for each profession, and if you notice, when I did it on mine, there were several other ones that showed up, because I also had a pre-order bonus from Guild Wars Factions, which gave me two weapon weapons for faction characters, Guild Wars Nightfall, which gave me Nightfall character weapons, and then the Eye of the North one as well, so I had several different weapons. So... How come I can equip the fire staff though? Can't fight with it, can I? You can attack with it. Yeah. Just like well, your space bar attack. Just... Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's not uh. It doesn't have a requirement. Uh, yeah, profession based. Yep. Oh, uh, merchants and collectors. Yes, collectors here. They take various items and can give you different items, slightly more powerful. Oh, but most of them can get. Some of them can give you better armor, which is pretty good. He can give us Crichton gauntlets. Well, gauntlets for me. I don't know what yours is. He you can't give me any gauntlets. <gasps> for three baked husks. But it doesn't matter. Let's go over there. Hash for that. And I think the worms over there drop the husks. They do, and I think there's a mission, or a quest that'll come up eventually yep. that we go have to go kill them for a farmer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you notice the spinny hourglass staff that I'm using, that's actually one of the Eye of the North weapons that people basically thought were going to be... Um, yeah, actually, I'll do it too, just so you guys can see. So How do I, I know if it's a hammer? <laughs> uh, there's the one that looks like the rhino. Um, oh yeah, there we go. Charge. Yeah, that plus the damage percentage, the damage when your health is above 50%, the armor penetration chance, those will all happen regardless of what your your attribute level is. The way weapons work in Guild Wars 1, if you see on my screen how I have the Sundering Rhino's Charge, it has 19 to 35 damage but requires 9 hammer mastery. To get that maximum damage output, you would need to have 9 points in the Warrior trait or attribute um, hammer mastery. So I could use this hammer, and I would never be able to get max damage, but I would still get the 15% damage while health is above 50% and the 20% armor penetration, and so would Naveen. So, if you see, they had a bunch of different things. They had different it shields and some scepters. And this was the necromancer one that came with Guild Wars 1, but I have the hourglass staff, which a lot of people speculate because there was supposed to be a chronomancer, a mm. time-based magician in uh, Guild Wars uh, Utopia, which never came out, and they kind of converted that to Eye of the North, that that's why this weapon was there. 
So you see I have a glacial blade and a sundering dark steel longbow. Those were added for um those were the either the north pre-order bonuses. So uh now I just have to clear out my inventory because I have eight hundred things in here. Eight hundred, eh? Yeah, and my twenty slot bag. Interesting, because it's another it's Guild Wars 2, you also start with a twenty slot bag. Huh. Kinda neat. So as soon as I finish I got three more to delete. And then we'll head into the catacombs to do Naveen and my current monk quest, but also to pick up my necromancer quest. So, Naveen, are you ready to enter the Ascalon catacombs? Ready There we go, the catacombs. Doesn't have anything that says so it's totally went to jump. And then I went back to the catacombs because <laughs> I used the follow me feet function. Eh. Here we are in the catacombs. There's a face on the wall. Over here is Necromancer Mun Money Mune. Mune. <laughs> She's got some creepy looking eyes though. Yeah. Oh, I just walked through her by accident. Ah. Uh, well adventurous one. If you've come to study, I can show you how to animate the dead. Once you've completed your lessons here, you will wish to seek out other trainers who can teach you your new skills. Except... Oh, I just leveled up. Level 2. So now, you can see it opened up my attribute window, which shows... I have 5 attribute points to place in either blood magic, death magic, soul reaping, or curses. But well, right now, I have a death magic and a blood magic attack. Steal health from a foe send out a deathly swarm. I think I'm gonna put points in blood magic because that one will also heal me a little bit, so, so one blood magic, two in blood magic. I guess I don't have enough so I'll put them in death magic. Oh. And sure why not one in soul reaping just because I can. <laughs> not everyone can be a necromancer. For example, one of my latest students went into the catacombs to summon a dark entity. Since he hasn't come back, I can only surmise the creation probably ate him. Nice. If you will agree to destroy the nightmare he summoned, I will show you where he went and give you a spell to help. But I warn you, you'll have to be clever to get past the fire traps in that part of the tombs. Of course, if you fail, I shall use your corpse as fodder for the next, more worthy student. I'm on well, my way. And she gave me two new skills. I now have Life Siphon. Ah! And animate bone horror but she's going on her own oh yeah i can't even catch her she's got a she's got a little thing above her head and there's paulus the abbot she's just running away he's like try to keep up uh, these two. which one are we following let's follow muni uh, whichever one uh, hopefully they run the same direction no they don't i know i keep pressing one to activate a skill i just uh, it's so difficult. I also have another mission that's coming with her called Rites of Remembrance. Yeah, me too. Okay. That but one I, I can pick up. I can't get to her yet because... Take my rhino hammer to the face! Oh, that's three now, gold. Sweet! Because it died. It killed, oh, I guess I can't animate that. Oh, you know what? It was already dead. You can't animate the dead. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to click on her. <laughs> Instead of the corpse. Oh, I'm level two! You gonna use your skills or are you gonna wait till we stop? Uh, I'm Look at that cool. hammer, how badass that looks. The big hammer. Rhino head. It's very horny. <laughs> <laughs> Die, skeleton! Oh, a limb! I can make pies with that. It's also good now that we have that one healing skill, Bane Signet, that, or that one monk skill, Bane Signet, that's the holy attack, because we're fighting undead minions, and uh, holy damage does double damage to undead creatures. So you can see this is quite different from Guild Wars 2. Mm -hmm. Also, if I did want to, say, animate me, uh, like make a bone minion, I have to actually have a corpse to do so, whereas in Guild Wars 2, you just animate things from nothing. Yeah. She's just casually, look at her leisurely walking now, she doesn't seem to care too much. Strut it! Yeah, she's like, mm, strutting mm, our mm, stuff, mm, look at mm, that. Mm, mm. 
Mm, mm, mm. She's just gonna stand there. Also, coincidentally enough, if you recognize this armor that she's wearing, yes, this is the gem store armor for light. For the first gem store armor, profane armor that was available in Guild Wars Two in the gem store. Mm. So that's that. So let's talk to her. Uh, well, I guess we have to go on on our own here. Why don't we just accept the rites of remembrance while we're at it? I'm gonna lose my monk skills if I do. Oh, is that a necromancer one? Yep. Oh, well then I'll accept it. The dead are restless. Buried here are many brave warriors who sacrificed their lives defending Ascalon from foreign guilds from the south and the bestial char to the north. They wonder if it's too much that their sacrifices be remembered and honored. Someone must place candles on the four stands commemorating their actions so they will know we have not forgotten them. She didn't give me any skills. <laughs> was, I don't think it was a necromancer thing. Well, because when I talked to her... Oh no, it's the necromancer novice. I have That's the rights of remembrance. Ah! <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm wrong. Okay. We'll continue going this way to deal with the necromancer novice. And then... Whoa, fire traps. Go, little carry-on. He's going to set up the traps for us. And then you can raise uh, little minions out of its corpse. That's true. Because we'll need that for it to... Hey! You! Alright. He's just chilling. Well, whatever! <laughs> just kill him anyway. Uh. Gold! Oh my god, so much gold! <laughs> oh, there's the, the thing he was supposed to run over. Yeah, just rise one from that core or die. That's or do that, Jesus. Oh no, your bone minion is attacking uh, me. I totally Take need this. to run forward. Uh, in the head and over your corpse. And of course I... Okay, so this is when I use my resurrection signet. I have to select him. Be like, yo, get up. Been a good call to raise it from this one, like you said. Yeah. Rather than run onto the flame guys like I did. Well, that was entertaining, so. Yeah. Very different, you know. Feel this purpose. Oh, hang on. There's another one. Let's yeah. Not do this again. <laughs> yes. Eh. <laughs> Died in. There's the All nightmare, right. the tomb nightmare. Shall we? We shall. Oh, I keep pressing one to attack. <laughs> oh my quick. god, he was <laughs> so hard to beat. Jeez. Uh, all right. Well, here's a Grent. Actually, take a look at this. Here's a Grent glass stained glass window up here. How do we uh, get rid of the interface? Do you remember? Um, I don't. Screenshots or for? Yeah. Uh, I think it was just control shift print screen when you take the picture. I think it turns it off. Oh, control shift. Oh, I don't have a print screen button on this keyboard. Oh, well. <laughs> well. Back Move on. We go. Also, if you notice, my minion just died. In Guild Wars 1, their health continually ticks down. Oh, yeah, that's true. So your minions can't stay around. Unless you keep them up with things like Blood of the Master or other necromancer abilities that heal them. But mm. usually at a cost of your own life. Which is why ritualists from factions make pretty decent necromancers, because anything that they summon has extra health. Interesting. So she says, Most impressive, you dispatch that nightmare rather quickly. You show some real talent for the work. Except... Thank you, Necromancer. Name to be determined. Mooney, right, let's, mon, mooney. let's head to do the uh, Amongst mission. So we want to go back and find Abbott. Uh, yeah. I think you might have died, though. No, I don't his think health he is still full. Look, under allies. Oh, yeah. Where is he? He must have just stopped running because we weren't following him. <laughs> Guys, this is so cold in here. I'm scared. Oh, wait. I forgot. 
don't forget that you brings up your other map. The huh? U button. Push the U key. Oh yeah. So you can see, because I wanted to see where the Rites of Remembrance is in relation. Okay, they're actually pretty much in the same location, so we can do both. Yeah. So that's good. Hey, Paulus! The a boot? I mean, a bot. A bot. A bot! Abbot. 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 <laughs> English. Let me uh, raise a bone bar if this is a corpse. Now I need to have him targeted and make sure he does not die. Yeah, because he's stupid. Ow. And he doesn't know how to heal as a monk. I'm, I'm glad Brother Mendlo sent you to help. We must hurry. Yeah. Right, right. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, because we're all losing health. Stupid. Oh, I have a healing signet. Whoops. That's okay. I healed you. Oh, thank you. They just smoked that skeleton like it was nothing. Oh, here's our remembrance candles. See that? Oh yeah, we can grab them on our way back. Yep. Mm. Ah, F. We'll hit the other two on the way back. I grabbed one, so. Woo! Here we are. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. Wait, let us heal a little bit. Hold on! Jesus! Remember, F is self-target. Yeah. Okay. Eh. He's got the ashes. He's just on a freaking roll, this guy. Yep. Alright, so we got two of them. Two of the remembrance things. Oh, okay. They each count? But I think, yeah, if we do them together, they count. So the other ones are back this way. I believe this is where Paulus has to run to. Pace to make death, Spence! You are dying! It updated. Oh, jeez, you're dying. Oh, yeah! Oh, well, we got three candles, so I wonder where that last one is at. Over here? Maybe? Yeah, we'll see. Maybe he'll take us right to it. Yeah. We got three, so... There's one there. Oh, there we go. Just click go get that. And then we'll... Woo! Now you'll see for that that quest shows up completed in our quest log. So oh, that's killing two birds with one stone. Oh! And the most bang for our buck for you guys to watch. Where are we going, Paulus? It's like um um oh that way. This is why the warrior. Oh, I think it's an elite charge. Is such a good skill to have. Yeah. Make everybody faster. Also, uh, let him go through the door first, or else it'll, it'll be yeah. in vain. In vain. Yeah. Academy Monk doesn't have anything useful to say. Gwyn the Collector! What does she collect? Skeletal limbs? Yes. She can give me Crichton gloves. I need nice. two more skeletal limbs. Oh, are there a countdown? <laughs> uh, I only no. have one. Ah, uh, well. But here. Look at this trading for nothing because that's how it works in Guild Wars 1. Now I have two. One more, and I'll be able to buy myself some new gloves. Okay, let's go out and accept this quest, and we'll come back in, and the necromancer that we just did our mission with will be right back at the beginning, and we can accept that one as well. Yes. Ah, Brother Menlo, let's see what you've got to tell me. You've done quite well for your first task. Polish reports his findings are most pr promising. And I think you might have a great promise as well to advance among monks. Oh, well, thank you, but I'm a warrior. See, now here I accepted that quest and got the experience, but I have an option to not become a monk. 
says, mm -hmm. yes, I'm ready to become a monk, or I need more time to decide. So I'm going to click, I need more time to decide, because I can always come back to Brother Menlo later, and if I decide I did want to be a monk, I can just choose to be one. But mm. for the time being, I get to keep the monk skills, so, uh, till well, I choose otherwise. I am ready to become a monk. Okay, well, congratulations. Now you see up in the top corner, Brawny McMorn, Brawn is a whammo. I'm a whammo! W slash M-O. Brother Menlo <laughs> as a new quest for me because I chose to be a monk. So basically, I'm going to take the blessings of Balthazar. Basically, you're helping more people do stuff. So I'm going to grab it quickly. It gives me two new healing spells. And we are going to... Oh, there you are. Well, hang on, I want to read this. So there's a statue of Duena, and when the world rang with the clanging of swords and did fire fall from the skies, Duena, goddess of life and air, heard the wailings and pleased the weak. And when the rumblings of war did not cease, came her charge, Doric, who did prostrate himself at her feet. And cast she now a glance upon the war-torn lands and wasted flesh of the fallen. And with tears upon her cheek did she lay, or did lay her gentle hands upon the prostrate man. Then saith she unto him and all her charges, Lay down thy weapons, and as I have done unto ye, so ye must do for your brethren. Offer protection to the weak, give solace and shelter to those who need it, be ye a salve to the wounded. For I am your goddess, and I will give blessings to all who follow these teachings. Scriptures of Duena, 115 BE. Before Exodus. Exodus? Exodus? Exodus. You were right the first time. Good job. Yeah! Uh, so, um, yeah, we actually covered this in our gods episode, but we did read all the scriptures of all the gods. But you can see that this is where people found them. They're just hidden on the statues of various gods in Guild Wars 1. So let's just run in here and we'll accept the reward from our quest from necromancer. We're just gonna call her money, because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> money, 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 money! Money! So there we go, it's just some more experience. I totally didn't even read her quest log information, because I forgot. Eh. Yeah. Uh, so, now we can head somewhere else. Um, if I had another skeletal limb, I'd say I'd trade with Gwen the Collector. Well, we can go hit a few skeletons. Yeah, why don't we do that? Oh, you know what we can do? Mm hmm Boom. Igneous Summoning Stone. and Summon a Fire Imp. Oh! -ho! Did you have one of those? Yeah. Is it infinite? Yeah. Oh. Until you hit level 20. Oh, but there's already one, so... Yeah, I, I guess you can't summon huh. it. Huh. Be overkill. But yeah, he, he uses Fireball, which is a pretty powerful fire magic spell. And he levels up to whatever your level is. And he'll stay with you until you're level 20, once that's the max level. But it's really mm. good for things here in pre -series. Yeah. Especially if you're trying to be on the Okay. How powers. do I auto attack? C, B, no. B, no. Whatever. I'll just double click. If you just hit space bar. Does it. Oh, yeah, that's possible. Hi! A skeleton limb! How many do you need? Just one more. That one would be perfect. There you go. Thank you. Now we'll go trade that in, and we'll head back out and go look for some more uh, profession-based quests. Or we could head over into the town where we met Devona in the last episode, and go do some of the quests in the town. Whichever you're feeling. We've got uh, about a half an hour, 20-ish minutes or so. Yeah, 20 minutes. Before we call <coughs> it. So we could probably get a, a significant amount of stuff done. But we don't want to rush it. So. Because there's no rush here. So I'm going to trade these for Crichton Gloves. Exchange. Now you'll see my... I go from my good old five armor gloves to seven armor. Look out, world. Um... Coming He's up. protected! Yep, I'll be able to get two more armor on each piece of armor I can trade. Crazy stuff! Yeah, 
So, let's head back out into the explorable area. So, right now... What? Did you go back in? I might have on accident. <laughs> okay, well, we're heading back out again. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, look, there's our little buddy Gwen. So... Um, right now, I actually only have a second profession in my quest list because I did not, um, accept another, uh, because I didn't accept the monk one. Mm -hmm. I know that the, the ranger skills are down in Regent Valley, mm -hmm. but I don't know if we want to go for, I actually have done two necromancer ones. Did you want to do another warrior one? Um, I don't mind. Uh, let's see. A new warrior trainer. Follow the road northwest from town. Follow the signs to Green, Green Hills County. Talk to War Master Grasch. Okay, well, you lead the way. Alrighties. In the meantime, perhaps we can... Get you some baked husks. Yes. Ah, stop pressing one. Hi. Red iris flower. Oh, you give those to the flower. Yep. I used to race with my husband, like whichever would pick the flower would win. Just a silly stupid game, but I was like, I got the flower, you have it! <laughs> but he would still trade them to me, so <laughs> No! Stop disappearing! You're only level zero. Oh, a cleaver. Did you get any hus husk? Husk? I did not. I mean, either. Maybe it's not them. No, it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Hmm. Why is there so many skeletal things? I don't know. I don't remember this being here. Huh. Oh, the bow hammer. How can I say no to the bow hammer? Symbol of wrath. What does that do? Foe edges at your location in which the spell of was cast take eight holy damage a second. Nice. Retribution. Ah! I got a skeletal limb. <laughs> Doesn't really do any good out here. Come on, die already! My big rhino head. Hit you in the ribs or something. Come on, man. Oh, it's a level three, that's why. Ooh, a foe hammer. You got a longbow over here as well. On this guy. Well, no husks. Let's just follow on to our quest. You got a break hammer. Alright, let's head over. You lead the way. Yeah, my star is uh pretty close, so. Okay, cool. Oh, it might be just, uh... Uh... Where he's zoned into the next map, basically. Uh, it might be. But it's okay. Grawl! Oh, man. Here we go. Some guys you might recognize these guys from Guild Wars 2. Especially if you start up as a Norn. Or a Char. Oh, yeah. And they are pretty... They're much more intelligent in Guild Wars 2 than in Guild Wars 1. Oh, look, a hidden stash. Oh, look at that. An earth wand. Ooh. Yeah, they don't really do much in Guild Wars 1. They make some funny noises. They're like, ooh la la, wee la. Come back here. Who's shooting? Oh. Uh, there's an archer in Brawl. Kicking my butt. Your uh, fire imp is kicking its butt. Yeah, and there goes me. No! No! No, pasty McDeath pants! I shall oh. avenge you! Come on, Gwen. What are you doing? What? You can't rally? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Don't mind me. I'll just sit here. My imp will take care of everything. Rise! I'm so used to the not having like the rally system or anything like that, so. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I was right. It's another. Yep. Oh, and C over there. Oh, we'll see a better 
when we cross, but that's the statue of Balthazar. It's my god, the god of war. Yeah, right there. And it's on fire, Balthazar's on fire! No, okay. <laughs> Let's cross. <laughs> oh, loading maps. Uh, it's been a while since I've played. <laughs> yeah, no, well, I'm already in here, so. Alright. War Master Grast mm -hmm. has this piffy looking am armor. And he's like, hmm, well, you passed the first warrior's test, but that's not exactly a great measure of your skills, is it? I'll be teaching you a few more advanced techniques, and then you might want to go see if you can find trainers who can teach you other skills. He gives you 250 experience. It's like, I should warn you, thank you, that there's trouble on the road. A group of Grawl invaders have camped out not far from here and have been harassing travelers. If you'd like, I can teach you a thing or two and to help drive them off. I'll even lend you a sword if you need one. Oh, cool. Then I'm like, these creatures must be taught a lesson. All right, so now he teaches me a new skill called Gash. And that's a skill I can only use with a sword, because it's a sword attack. Mm. Uh, mm, I don't have a sword, but oh well. Would you like to read the Statue of Balthazar for everybody that's here as well? Yes! The plaque's right here. Ah, I knew that! <laughs> I was testing your brains, alright. <laughs> <laughs> For weeks did the battle rage on, and those who had taken up the mantle of war grew weary, and their courage began to falter. <laughs> then did Balthazar, god of war and fire, appear to the soldiers, carrying with him a grand sword that did glow with such brilliance it blinded any who looked upon it. When he spoke, his voice was like thunder, and it, sh and it shook the ground with force. Then said he, okay, I'm really bad with English, managing with Old English. <laughs> Lift up thy weapons, for you are my soldiers, and you must be steadfast, strong, and brave of heart. They who neither hesitate nor stumble shall be rewarded. They, uh, then shall you have glory. Then shall your deeds be remembered for eternity. And then did release from his sword a hundred thousands of a hundred thousand flames which encircled the soldiers. For this was the fire of courage, and forthwith did they follow the god into battle without fear or hesitation. Thence was the enemy struck down. Scriptures of Balthazar forty eight BE. Okay. Well there you have it. Who's this far cow? She's like, hello! Here, I'll be on my way. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, I also accepted the warrior skills, because why not? Sweet. So basically, I have two skills that I cannot use, because I will not yep. be using a sword. Yeah, me neither. Hey! But I got a healing signet. That's a monk thung, and that's a monk. Hail, oh. apprentice! I'm Gradzen, a trainer in the art of protection prayers at Nesna! Alright, I'll grab it. You need to escort Fire Capo on a mission to capture the outlaw. Alain. <laughs> I used... I... Say Did again? I... Sorry. No, that's okay. I can't accept it because... I can see it, but I can't accept it because you have to be a confirmed monk. Oh, well, I am confirmed monk. But I can talk to Kasha Blackblood. I believe she's also the, the necromancer that you fight in Ascalon Catacombs as well, in the story mode. I think. Oh, yeah? I think she's the one that you fight towards the end. Yeah. Greetings, I am Kasha Blackbud. Black blood. I train necromancer princesses in the art of blood magic. That is, stealing health. I'm totally ignoring the brawl. That's uh, good. Stealing health from enemies to feed oneself. I think is there something you'd like to discuss with me? The power of blood. What the hell? I've got a job for you if you're willing to work. A group of former students of mine are hiding out in the catacombs. So good. <laughs> they fear my wrath, and rightly so. They have failed in their training, and they must pay the price. They're very fond of dark pack, of dark pack, so you should be able to counter them using blood magic. And then the, the skill bar went away, or the text bar rather. Uh, blood magic to drain their health. I'll <laughs> leave right away. 
I got Blood Renewal, Enchantment. For 7 seconds, you gain health regeneration. I gain health. Well, I will lose one of my non-existent warrior skills, and I'll equip that now. Vampiric Touch. Touch target foe to steal up to 35 health. Sure. I'm gonna go pick up my Grawl Long Spear gear that dropped from up here. A shaman! Oh no. Urama. Urama. Weewa. Why would you attack? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, my sword skills. For gold, I can finally buy that exotic armor. Wait. <laughs> Four gold shared between two players. <laughs> oh. Um, that wasn't the warrior mission, was it? Nope. Okay. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think it was. Because the star changed again. Let's go back and see. Ah, uh, da da da. Mine Ask says look for Grawl invaders along the road. Oh, Farah now is like, hello, and I'm like protection prayers. Oh, that's the monk thing. Oh, don't talk to me now. I'm preparing myself mentally for the battle to come. Just head on over to Lakeside County. I'll meet you there. All right. Um, I'll grab the Grawl invasion again. All right. Sorry about that detour. That's okay. Uh huh. Doesn't matter to me. I keep forgetting that once you accept a new quest, it, it updates. Over, yeah, it switches yeah. to the other one. Yeah. That's okay, though. It better be okay. Well, oh, I've got lots of necro nice. skills and a healing signet, so really, I'm set up to just not die. But <laughs> given my my performance so far, <laughs> that's, that's not okay. going to be the case. I've got my trusty resurrection signet. Is it, Ew, spiders. Is it active? <laughs> Yes, it is. Okay, well, that's good at least. <laughs> Stone elementals! Those elementals. Oh, yeah, they are. They're, um. Where that huge crystal is in, uh. somewhere in Tyria. I can't even remember the name of the place, but, uh, yeah. It's near Ascalon Catacombs, anyways. Oh, you mean to see where the searing crystal is? Yeah, I think. We'll get to actually see what causes that. Die, Grawl! Alright. Okay, well. The star is updated. I see, up ahead, yeah. There's a Grawl. Die! I'll make you bleed! Hey, long spear gear. All right, can I salvage? No. We gotta. We don't get good salvage kits till way later. Uh, Where's my to... star? I oh, it's know. next here. I guess I'm missing a grawl somewhere. Uh, there's this one up here. Wait, how do I target? I forget. There we go. How do you? Uh, I think it's just control click. Oh. And then you can click the little T up. By my name there. Die! That ought to do it. A ball hammer! <laughs> ball hammer! <laughs> Get it? Uh huh. Okay, let's carry on. Alright, well, it updated. Looks like we're heading back. Oh, yeah! Green arrow. I'm gonna head back with you, and I think we're slowly working our way. Never mind, I was like, we're slowly working our way to where the ranger is, but we're on the complete opposite yeah. side of Ascalon. <laughs> so, I'll accept this. See, Naveen accepted right away, so I'm just gonna keep doing the warrior and monk training along with her to gain the experience. And then, uh, my necromancer missions as they come. Yeah. But I'm all, I think there's actually one more necromancer trainer somewhere. So I think you could actually have all, for certain professions, have all skills for your profession on your skill bar. Which is very cool. possible. Ah, oh, that's a relief. The only good growl's a dead growl, I say. Alright. Hey, level 3, grats. Yeah, so I get to spend more attribute points. Put some more. I got lots of blood magic skills, it seems. So 
So, put some more in my blood magic. And then I don't think I have any curses, so. Gwen's Death like, la, 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 la. I am barefoot, just like Queen Jenna. La, 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 la. So, where are we off to now? Alright. Now, we're off to anywhere. Okay, well, let's head back to Ashford Abbey. Because uh, Brother Menlo wants to see us. Oh, uh, you will leave your party. We don't want to do that. So I guess we'll have to run back. Oh, yeah, because that only works uh, when we're in outposts. Yeah, I always forget that that's a thing. So, hey, Farah. What are you doing? Try to keep up! Isn't oh. this your mission? Yeah, I guess there is. I guess it is. All right. It's like, ugh, like, you should keep up and stuff. Like, there's, like... Dwarves ahead of us that you need to kill or something. Come here. Oh, they are doing some crazy damage. Yeah. Protect yourself, peace streaming, peace. What? <laughs> <laughs> peace streaming, peace. I think it's time for me to have a pie. Uh, peace trees. Yeah. Well. I did resist the urge to rename my character Pastry McDeathpain <laughs> after <laughs> comments we received on the, the podcast. <laughs> and I stuck with a female necromancer just because male necromancers are weird looking. They're meant to be weird looking. I suppose. Bane Signet! Your butt is on the ground. Wait up, Farah! Try to keep up, I mean, come on. <sighs> My legs hurt. No AoE damage. Blech. Blech. Who on you? Ah, uh, goody, I can pick up this worn belt. You okay there? I'll be fine. <laughs> I seem to be healing a uh, tunic. Oh joy, it's the bandit camp. What where are you going? Oh I'm following you. A... No, I'm talking about Pharaoh. It's like, oh wait, there's a wolf there, and I should get it. <laughs> right. Allez! <laughs> It's totally French. Alright. <clears throat> Bane Signet! You're on your butt. Yes. No, I got an unidentified flat bow. Huh. Okay, uh, Farah, what's the deal? Okay, your fire imp is creepy. It just whispered in my ear, going, like, Where are you going? It's like, uh, strutting, strutting. Oh, we need to go over there. <laughs> not, not according to Farah. We need to run all the way back over here. Okay. Back to the beginning? But my star is not there. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe you're done with her? Uh, perhaps. What does your mission say? It, it says, up, Go south! Oh, wait. It, the L key actually look at <laughs> Return to Brother Menlo for your reward. Alright. Well, then let's go do that, because that's where we were heading anyway. <laughs> let's try to get you some of those husks this time. Okay. And Iris Larry, I got it before you. Na 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 na. Alright. <clears throat> you totally beat me. I did. You just lost the game. Oh! Die worm! Oh, it based. Oh, that's yours. It's okay, that's one. <laughs> and three. But that's two. <gasps> Sweet. Ugh, that's three. That's three. All right. All right, we can get out of here. Come on, Gwen.
Yes. Oh, you have baked husk for me. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Collector, I would like some Crichton gauntlets. Thank you. Oh, nice gauntlets. Oh, yeah. And you're level three as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Well, let's go return your quest to Brother Menlo. All right. Let's put some points in Hammer Swordsmanship. There we go. So I like swords. Top of liking pies. I was gonna say, the serrated shield's pretty cool looking too. Hmm. But I love the- you don't, unfortunately, you don't have the glacial sword, do you? The one that comes from Eye of the North? Mm, no. Ah, oh, I really like that one. You're making great progress, young one. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Menlo! This, uh, deity of Krita here next to me. If you mm -hmm. notice his armor, he's a ranger, his armor is the Crichton armor that you can get in the gem store in Guild Wars 2. The yeah. medium armor that was available from launch. They've added many other gem store armors, but that was the first one. Nice. So, there's a merchant over here. I, I was go gonna say. Yeah, I gotta clear out my inventory here. Spence. The merchant. Spend some coin. <laughs> Woo. Sell everything. All right. Well, we are at about that time, if you want to call it or if you want to do some one more I don't know what you're feeling um we can continue on next time okay yeah well we'll do next time now that we're back in Ashford Abbey mm -hmm. my next mission is to go back into the Ascalon catacombs yet again sorry guys we're gonna be seeing a lot of the Ascalon catacombs because my character is a necromancer that's where most <laughs> of your time is spent but I promise to take I really seriously thinking of ranger secondary just so that i can get to be out and about in the woods so you don't have to see so much catacombs mm. uh, although monk's probably a better choice it's or, up to you doesn't matter i know or mesmer i think you really lay down some conditions and stuff mm -hmm. but anyway uh so next we will enter the catacombs to destroy the blood fanatics uh as per kasha Dark blood or whatever her name was. Yeah, dark blood. Black blood, whatever. Black doesn't, blood. Doesn't whatever. matter. So, Bloody. all right, guys. Thank you for uh, coming out and 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 watching us play and putting up with our shenanigans. <laughs> um, it's obviously still very cold here in Ascalon, hence my scarf. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. So, um, unfortunately, like we said, there won't be an episode from Brahms and Alicardalina this week. And due to Brahms' internet being down and me not wanting to rush around and try to find somebody to replace him for a COT versus episode this week, uh, and not trying to rush to get it done, to get it out for Wednesday, there will not be one, but you will be seeing this episode. I will edit it and have it up on Friday. Um, we'll also talk about it on the podcast, but next week we are just no videos. Next week. It's the holidays! Yes. Yeah. Go spend time with your family. Don't spend time on YouTube watching us. Unless you really want to with your family, then that's a good idea. But, <laughs> uh, no, we're going to all take the time off and, you know, last-minute Christmas shopping or decorating or baking or whatever. So, um... Oh, my God, I can't believe it's already Christmas soon. It's I crazy. Know. And it's Naveen's birthday. Ah, uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I don't have birthdays. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, we um, we will uh, again. We'll make all those announcements again on on Thursday on the podcast. But uh, for now, thank you again, guys. I'll put you a slash wave here. Got the slash dot wave. Slash wave. <laughs> I was quicker than you. Ah, oh, yuck! And gross. Keep uh, your drippage away. So anyway, uh, thanks, guys, and we will see you next time. Ciao.
<laughs> they fear my wrath, and rightly so. They have failed in their training, and they must pay the price. They're very fond of dark pact, of dark pact, so you should be able to counter them using blood magic. And then the, the skill bar went away, or the text bar rather. Uh, blood magic to drain their health. I'll <laughs> leave right away. I got blood renewal, enchantment for seven seconds. You gain health regeneration. I gain health. Well, I will lose one of my non-existent warrior skills, and I'll equip that now. Vampiric Touch. Touch target foe to steal up to 35 health. Sure. I'm gonna go pick up my Grawl Long Spear gear that dropped from up here. A shaman! Oh no. Urama. Urama. Weewa. Why would you attack? Jeez. <laughs> Yay, my sword skills! For gold, I can finally buy that exotic armor. Wait. <laughs> Four gold shared between two players. <laughs> oh. Um, that wasn't the warrior mission, was it? Nope. Okay. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think it was. Because the star changed again. Let's go back and...